This drawing prompt is Castle, and I thought it might be fun to record the whole process in real time so that you can see when I'm encouraging you to draw every day, I'm not talking about hours here, I'm talking about minutes. Usually it's about 10 minute drawings for me, something like that every day. So the challenge here is to not use reference for me. That's the real challenge of these prompts showing up in the morning. So what I'm gonna do is I am going to just draw what I see as a castle in my own mind. You know, this isn't a how to draw video. This is just me drawing a castle for a few minutes to show you that you can do it too. I don't wanna get into structure or form here. This is just me demonstrating how I do it and how I think when I draw. So for me, I'm just, you know, sometimes I'll even just scribble out uh, shapes and forms and kind of figure it out. We're going to go with this as my basic thing. And I'm not looking at any reference, like I said. I'm just kind of figuring it out as I go. So castles from my own memory, maybe Disney castles. Let's see. Kind of have that kind of thing going on. Steeple, I guess, or not a steeple, but roof. <laughs> and another thing about drawing every day is I get to use my imagination. And it's a great way to start your day, especially if you have a day job like me, or you're about to get into something that might be stressful. It really just kind of sets the tone for the day before you get bogged down with all the crap that's coming at you from the outside world. So in this case, I'm just gonna make some blocks and shapes and kind of just fill it up. Kind of see what goes where and figure it out as I go. And it doesn't have to be perfect. That's another thing, like I said. it It's really just about... It's really just about getting your pencil moving. So I think we'll have another pillar here, that action, oh, it looks a little dilapidated there. Maybe this castle needs some upkeep. That's another thing I like to do when I said about using my imagination is that a story starts to develop while I'm drawing that. So even just that crooked piece of the roof there, I think, well, maybe this, this part of the castle hasn't been, you know, taken care of for a while. So I might put a crack there, you know, as I'm, maybe it's even, been blown apart by a you know a dragon or something in the past maybe this is an abandoned castle you know maybe this was the drawbridge right here this is fun this just really kind of reminds me of the days back in school when I was at the library in the classroom you know drawing making up my own stories and I think as life kind of moves on you really get bogged down with life stuff and the things you define as fun now is just consuming other people's content and you forget to use your own imagination. I wanna go three dimensional here. So there's other pillars that we can't see behind here and I'll just black those out. Same thing, maybe we have a taller pillar. Or I don't even know if that's the right word is pillar. It doesn't matter, right? I'm gonna curve that one kind of like a little devil tail or something. I don't know what I'm calling this, guys. Is it a steeple? Uh, it doesn't matter. You know what I mean. Again, these prompts come very early morning for me, about 5 a.m., and it's just about getting my pencil moving and just kind of setting the tone for my day. I talk about this all the time with the artists in my draw or die community, especially the ones that haven't drawn in a long time or maybe they just don't think they're good enough. And I say, watch, look at how simple this is. You know, it's just shapes and forms and it's just getting your pencil moving. And they say, DJ, you were right. You know, drawing for five minutes turned into 30 minutes, turned into an hour, hours. And they had that spark again, that feeling of kind of being in the zone. It made their day feel better. And that's the real magic here, guys. I mean, look at this. I've only been drawing this for about uh, six minutes or so. I'm talking with you. And if it were just me, I'd be kind of having these conversations with myself, but... <laughs> It's fun. There's a little road, and you know, it's maybe the road just kind of broke off. All right. That road's been... We'll even... 
I don't like to erase when I'm doing this either because I'm not trying to make a masterpiece here. I'm just trying to do the prompt from the day and it was castle. So I've pretty much already achieved drawing a castle. So yeah, that idea or that excuse that we tell ourselves that we don't have time, yo, this was just like seven minutes. That's the extended time of like a microwave meal or something. If you can't take this little bit of time for yourself in your day, then something's wrong. People tend to not do something because they're afraid that their art's gonna, I don't even know what this thing is I'm drawing over here. It's just some sort of old, you know, old contraption of a castle, right? Some kind of old weapon or catapult. Still there, but whatever. I'm gonna put some more cracks over here. All right. And then just kind of build up the environment. And, and again, I'm doing this just with my pencil, right? And you don't need a fancy pencil or sketchbook. I mean, I, I tell people all the time, you can just use a regular old pencil and, you know, a post-it note. You could draw it right on that. Um, or the, even the back of an envelope or something, you know, just... A lot of people are on Zoom meetings now these days. You might have a little pad off to the side and uh, maybe you're doing your little prompt. Maybe you're drawing your little castle. Again, it's fun. It's fun to think who lives in this castle or who, what did it look like when it was brand new? You know, was it beautiful and shining city on a hill? And then a vampire took it over, who knows? I mean, there's a hole in this roof here. And like, also just like an old battered flag, still waving with whatever symbols on it, right? And then, you know, just to kind of make it look like something. <laughs> Put a little sky there, and little mountain ranges in the background. It just feels good. There it is. It's the daily drawing prompt. Castle. Now, if you want to take these drawing prompts and kind of do your own and post yours in the comments, post a link to your portfolio or something like that, you never know who's watching. You know, do it for fun, but who knows? And you're going to get better. You're going to feel better. And um, it's going to be awesome. Castle. Good enough. Hey, let's keep drawing. Check out this playlist and show me what you've got. Should I do more videos like this? What if I could do them every day? Would you watch something like that? That's crazy. Let me know in the comments. And stay encouraged out there.